Oh hi, hello and welcome y'all. I'm a cool okay to show you more one coffee at a time. Well, might as well do this, you know. It's too late to really leave anything else. Uh, I just want to show you guys the water. I've added more like um Westbies. Not really much, but I've added some more and since probably the last ever. And I think I added the yeah, I've added like jam drops and everything. But you would have seen that in a different video. Look at this. I like how this turned out. Even if it's not like perfectly lined up, it's still really cool. Then you can just throw it in there. Yeah. I haven't made any West Piece of the water yet. I just stick it out there. I need a way to empty this when <laughs> I Hmm. Yeah, I want to do a undo button. That's one thing I want to definitely do. I'll probably provide, so um, trying to get, so the mixing bowl now works like this. So it fully gets rid of that. So we can now do multiple recipes. Just don't mess them up. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing to get the anxieties working, isn't it? <laughs> Make sure your anxiety is go going good. And that's not a permanent. <laughs> okay, let's go. I think one, two, one, and a two. Need more sugar. I might actually make the different colors between the milks a little more. I'm not, I, I think they're just there, they're diff, different ish, but I want to make them more different. I'm figuring it out to be a problem. I'll show you guys soon. After you make some biscuits. So this is now the new biscuit recipe instead of cookies. So the cookies have become more advanced. Then we just throw them in the oven. Then we need a ding on the end of this. <laughs> we do. And then we can just go grab some jam out of one of these containers. Yep. Full apple. And then we can make more jam jobs. Yeah. Jam jobs. Maybe not, guys. I'm not seeing the tea. Oops. I know that's going to be a real problem. A lot of the interface stuff. Here we go. And then our tea. Hell yeah. So I do have. So I have added like. Um, parents. So then it's a tea as well, like a teapot and all that. The reason why I did that is for, in theory, when they order, if they order a type of tea, they order from a tea. List of the teas in that type. And the same with baked goods. But then you also got to put in with the baked goods, they need to um, have a list of what's available as well. So teas and coffees are going to be really simple to do because, well, you've got to make them on the spot. But, um, they goods. They, I mean, oh, only what's going to be in here is going to be a blow before order, like in cabinets like that. It's the best way. Even if you can cook it, you got to have it cooked and have thing amount available in here. That's the theory that's the feel I wanna go with or what I wanna do with the baked goods. Because the uh, cooking isn't meant to well when you're making it with the mixer or something like that, when you're making these cookies and biscuits, you aren't meant to like make a lot like you do with the coffees. Like you come here and make the coffees as you go. They are meant to be you make them ahead of time. We can also make bleds too and put bleds in there. Hmm, that might be an idea. And then we've got a way to put bleds. And then we also got this here. I don't think I've done like much setup for it. Okay. I need this. I need to cut this in half. F. Put this in here. I need to actually look at this recipe. I can't remember what it is. So I am going to start sooner or later start doing a recipe book. So I've made some little icon, uh, icons, UI, yeah, some little, little icons, 
way on here. So that's what stove top, that's what sink. So I made these so then oh I guess we want an oven. I don't know. There's the teapots. So that's Talia. Oh, we look like the oh, we don't have small coffee machine. Look at baby coffee machine! Look how good he looks, man! I <laughs> really like baby coffee machine. He looks so cool. And so the point of that, oh, you guys can see everything else on this one too, Ronnie. Whoops, well, it's on the dragon. I didn't do much work on the dragon, I mainly did more. I didn't really do much work on this one, one coffee at a time, except for like about now and on the UIs. So how those UIs work is that, for example, if you're gonna make um, those simple biscuits, it will have the ingredients with what station they go to, and that's the point of the little blocks as well. I want to have it so you don't have to open up the block every single time. So this point is where the um, item, whole items, uh, inside block spawns as well. But I don't know. Are we up to that point? <laughs> What was I was just saying, I forgot. Mm. Just like my lunch today. <laughs> I had it in the microwave and then I sat around for the first minute and then I just thought about it. And then no one that I was hungry by the end of the day. Yeah, um, I was after the mixing bowl. So we come back to the, um, hopefully we come back to that last one I was looking at. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, come back to the mixing bowl. Oh, I need to go here anyway. Mm. Yeah, memory's a bit. Well, I guess probably ADHD problem that I probably should get diagnosed for. Probably is going on strong with that one, isn't it? Half a butter, two fries, and one sugar. So half a butter. Two flowers and one sugar. Now, oh boy. So I still got this item bug where if I picked up two flowers, it from now on it's gonna spawn in two flowers. Kind of great. Then we go to here. We cook this bad boy, and then seeing as I haven't got the code for it, in theory, we just got put over there. I should have done the code for it first. I don't know why I didn't. Give me a moment, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Whoops. At least I have an activated Windows and I can't personalize my background. <laughs> Although, let's be honest, it would probably just be a whole bunch of dogs <laughs> in the background from what I, the little cliche dogs that I've done. <laughs> yeah, this is the jam job to be seeing all that. So, I got all this code done and dusted down here, got it all ready. I think all the gen jobs now fully work and all that. But now time to explain the, what I did with the little icons. So as you know before, the little icons, they come down to here where it adds to world. So I made a new away up here. Which probably helps me with the undo thing later on as well. I feel like it probably will help with that actually thinking about it when I was thinking about the undo this like. The beginning of this video, or other on than this one, not really, still probably getting, and then it um, adds in a new item slot, and then it adds, oh, gets the new item slot, then adds in as trial, or oh. <clears throat> yeah, and then it adds it to the holding inside the position, and all that update slots, and then it updates. The slots for DOA now. I don't know if it's a bit overkill because I added this all in and I decided to keep it. The fall probably would still work if you want to go down there, but maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. And then it updates the little slots. The little slots have this changed to what the uh, item hot bar, like the hot bar down below, is instead now. I want to show you guys the mixing slots. Mm. 
Yeah, all they have is that it goes down here. Item comes from before. Item is item resource. If item is item resource. Okay, that actually might be useful for something else. Let's realize. Uh, I got a little um dog here looking upon, looking at screen. I got a little audience. Mainly because I was drawing them like not that long ago. That's why I have an audience, doggy audience. And then you have this update the texture on this. It's basically like the item slot for the hopper, and then it has a remove button onto it whenever we need that. At one point when thing and then I just wait for doing that. And then when it's done, it clears the arm um, away, updates item slots, and then it goes the it deletes the other one. I don't think that's really needed, but hey, <laughs> that one right there. Actually it might have been needed for something. I might actually need to do that before I murder it. But I was doing something similar to this before, but it didn't work out. It just kept on being the same thing. But maybe that's why it works out better because that's the reason why I think it could work with the other way I had before, but now it probably seems I made it more into a way it might not work, you know. And then this tells it that in hot by inside in holding inside oh <laughs> I mean, like what that one's going for is Eagle's new um holding items textures. Which is just the bar thing. I know that one's probably a bit confusing. But, you know, part of that came down to laziness. And I just wanted to type that, you know. Sometimes you just get to that point where you just want to spit out words. And you're just like, go. <laughs> Alright. Three free words. <laughs> I need to do this for the um, dope part with the milk. Oh, I'm tired. And I also came down to the reality. You know what? I have to do this for more milks. More non And liquids, actually, because this includes liquids as well when it comes down to milks. I'm just going to be bothered to rename it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, laziness is starting to freak in a little bit. Yeah, I'll have to add in a not a more plant milks. Or plant. I guess they're practically plant. Hmm. Look what's technically the type of tea in a way. Actually, they would be closer to because they basically are. What tea is is basically squashed, crunched, or squashed up. Sometimes even crunched up berries into hot water. I guess it's kind of like tea, but kind of not. There's more complications to you gotta what you gotta do with uh, oh my god I just knocked down my doggy oh no I knocked down the doggy on top of my computer oh boy I feel really mean doing that now oh poor dude it's all right I put you back up there I did he's back up on top of his phone yeah I feel really mean doing that one. Yeah, that's certainly taken over. Okay, I'm halfway done and I'm a little Kelpie. <laughs> I got a problem. Yeah, I'm not willing to adjust it. <laughs> I don't know, I should probably need this later on too. That's probably going to be more of a devastation to me later on. But it might not matter with the mixing bowl due to the fact probably everything ends up going in it. If you know what I mean. But if something like the biscuits come along again, I'll just change it up a little bit. Because <clears throat> I might want to use the biscuits for something else as well. Then as well as um, a lot of uh, biscuits with icing in the middle of it too. So the simple biscuits are going to be something easy for that as well. The milks I um, got are mostly ready with the milks. 
the meals and also doing some probably gonna end up doing the similar thing I did with the water so you get half and then you get four cup out of it but right now you only get the half out of it so I want to show off finish off the rest of the um, slice which means I need to go here uh, I also need code from oh some code from somewhere else You're not the one I desire. This one is but not the one I desire. Oh god, no. I can't be tired. So this one's on me. So what this one is has to be the first one down. I might actually not show you guys that. Maybe it gets showed up later on. Thinking about it. But I will show you what I want to do first. I will spawn the biscuit base in here. So what I want to do with the um the biscuit base. Oh, we're gonna need to put output. Double. Now, but I'm gonna have to change that one down there. Gonna need two. Place holding, I'm gonna call it. So the place holding one is gonna be the node that is spawned. Oh I got um spawn on top. Uh what do we need? Which one's spelled? Okay, it's spelled. So we add in this one at and make sure that's to the position. Okay, so we need the add to well now. I'm going to keep that in for later on uses because I'm definitely going to need that later on, but not in this particular um, instance is where we don't need it. So what we want to do is And child place holding and in the global position equal self. I don't think it hurt too much. We can just put a placeholder if needed. You know, just for that position. So we get to see me cooking again. Yeah, play too much played up. Maybe this is what making me play more played up, you know? <laughs> that is a possibility. Yeah. Anyone who says has done enough game development <laughs> or, you know, art or anything like that, you know, writing. I don't know, unless it's a me thing. I feel like, yeah, you kinda get the idea of yeah, you do. You you might do other things that you're currently doing adjacent to that. You know, that makes sense. I don't think it does. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be long as hell. This is probably gonna be this mixing bowl. I bet is gonna be the longest bit of code I have in this whole game. I reckon it's gonna be longer than the coffee machine, unless um I can get the recipes out of this code. Then maybe. But I don't really think so. I think the main bulk of the recipes have to be in this code. Maybe this can get out of this code, but the main bulk has to be in the code. 
Yeah, but still got some little bugger watching. That's a different little doggy watching, not the one on top. Feels so mean, knocking him off. Uh, I can't focus. 0.5, two flour, one sugar. Mmm. Oh, so yet night shit. Okay, we're gonna have to play and finish this, so I'm not here till midnight. I'll just show you guys what I'm gonna do here. So you can see, so the favorite is with the so I'm gonna have recipes on here or we can pin on here. This is not really needed. This is this here because this is a character is a copy from my game. So the favorite is the that it was show uh you're gonna need to have Two flowers, one sugar, and a half bit of um, butter were in the mixer, and then it's going to be like you have to cook that. Then you cook it. Then you put it here. And pick it up. <laughs> oh, this was us having updated the texture. Whoops! And then what I'm going to do with that also is update the texture, of course. I'll then have that so then it can't be picked up as well. And I'm going to have it sit there. And then next, after that, you will add in add in the camel. So I had to. I use the same texture for the camel, or should be using the same texture for the camel. But they have to make their own like wheat itself information. That's gonna be nice when I did that slow because technically, you know what? Right off the bat, I could tell you we're gonna have at least probably gonna end up later on probably adding in macadamia flour and macadamia milk and water seed flour probably. Because it kind of makes sense when you really think about, especially water seed, because it the it can the water seed in theory. Well, in the dark wood forest, is meant to come from the dark wood trees. So the dark wood trees seeds instead in the in the dark wood forest an unknown dragon, which this area, which this first area is based on, is the unknown dragon area of the dark wood forest. We reason why we used a lot of the stuff from unknown dragon. So a lot of the um, honey, um, honey is going to be added in, and the milks, the availability of what they have to the milks, the eggs from the false chicken, and then all the jams you could do, some more different types of berries they have, and fruit, and all that, because you have the apples, you have the berries, and all, all as well. Yeah. So if they're currently doing the unknown unknown dragon darkwood flowers area. If you don't follow my other series from making that area, which is coming along quite well, the new a new world is too. Basically, we go up to here. I don't know if I ever really said that much or not. This way, I seem to follow that. I forgot what I was talking about five minutes ago. Shit. <laughs> yeah. See how? Uh, oh yeah, that the water seeds. So we're probably gonna end up um having a lot of water, well, a lot of um the dark wood seeds, which are, is equivalent to the water seeds. I'm gonna put them as because I wanna like you know big thing I wanna do is do something more with those as well. I wanna copy a lot of things that are based on real life. Well, especially when it comes to this. That's the reason why some things are named the same as they are in my life. Or oh, in our world, I guess. <laughs> I, should be, I should say more or less. Because a lot of things are very similar. Yeah, but are we, you are using names, so then 
like you know especially for the more uncommon stuff is because I want the I wanted people to know about that kind of more stuff it's something I want to like really want to do when I jag and it's open um people's ideas open people up to different types of ways you know, ways with food and ways of life in this type of game. I don't know. Maybe that's a bit weird, isn't it? But yeah, mainly what I want to do, at least for with I Know Dragon, is show a lot of the different foods and different environments and also also um anyone who's followed journey might have realized that a lot of times the foods and berries you can still have them very much similar to where they are, like, in our world. But when you think about it, let's say this world is the same as Earth in a way that these people are humans and all that. And I know Dragon. And a lot of their food could be very similar evolution but it's very different a lot of times i find when looking into native plants of australia that um they are very still they especially with something like bush mint it's still very so much the same as mint even when a mint itself that you might be talking about might be anywhere else over the world it's still a mint even the finger limes they're still a lime, but they're a different lime. <laughs> they're still, you know, they're still the sim. A lot of times, the fruit and the food are very similar. I'm half asleep. <laughs> I'm half tired, so this might be a model explanation. Um, but and even like apples. Apples is a good example. Like, um, apples can you have different varieties of apples. But I guess they're a bit more closer than a lot of like the finger lime to a lime. The lime you usually, or at least I usually see in the shop. You guys might even have a different lime than I usually see in the shop. It's very different to the finger lime. And there's even another one I got which confirms that it confirms that it is the finger lime um, hybrid with the Blood lime, so it's called blood lime. It is hybrid between between finger lime and the wind. Yeah, mandarin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The little orange buggers. <laughs> oh, even they're a good sample because they're smaller. They're a hybrid of oranges themselves, as well. They're they're basically very different from the finger limes themselves and the mandarins. I know I really like the finger limes. I was sure I went to the air, but I forgot it came too late. I also forgot about lunch today. <laughs> so, yeah. And then the bush apples. Also, uh, I think there even there's many different types of very similar apples in Australia as well. And a lot of plums. At least I get given the name plums. I don't know how similar they are for plums. I have not seen these in my life yet or tried them out much but I, there's one called Davidson Plum, which does seem very similar to plums themselves. But there's other types of plums as well, if they are considered plums, which they probably are if they get given the name. You even got different types of limes. There's another one called Desert Lime hanging around in uh, in um, Australia as well, in Bush, Australia. So that's Outback, more or less. And see, these two are very good examples. Like, you could have pretty much, and let's say they weren't in the same area, but these two, but they could be as close as these two are in the way these two are. The blood apple in the in Unknown Dragon is a larger apple, but it's still an apple. And the bush apples is a smaller apple, and it's still an apple, just grows on a small tree. That's with a lot of the lily pillies as well. Tends to be like the sun that goes like 50 miles tall on the sun or 10 meters tall tree and the sun that goes, you know, the one I've got is totally dwarf lily, which is like the smallest one I got. That's the smallest one I got. 
of the lilies, it's like 90, barely a meter, so 90 centimeters, so that's small. So two meters is six feet, so that is basically half of six feet for anyone who doesn't understand the meter system. Comes up there. And I also got another one which is easy, another really pretty that's easy, easy passing a meter. I've got another berry one that's actually a meter, a bit over a meter. I don't know. You know, I was <laughs> when buying this or well, getting them, I got that little tree for B that's a bit over a meter with the white berries. Hopefully that will um, have white berries soon. It's a bit, um, they don't really fully complement how small a meter is. But I guess it's pretty good, isn't it? Because it's a small area still. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Hopefully we get more in this, so don't forget to like to drive on this one. Like, well. The super things getting to me. Or it's a possible other um, problem, the ADHD that I need to, you know, probably start without someday. I don't actually want to say I have that until, you know, you get diagnosed for it, which you probably do have it, you know. It's a possibility. And I'm more likely to get it because I have two people in the family that are, so it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I want to fix up a lot of the interactions between these. Um, because that's the reason why the mixing bowl it became its own thing because I know that's going to be more mainly used in any of these other machines and it's going to be the most important thing that's going to be used. I don't know how I'm going to sort out all these other things but at the moment it's all over the floors and the walls of the kitchen. Hmm. I could put one on the shelf at one point. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Um, don't forget to like to subscribe. I'm gonna say that again. Um, get it on. Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like this one is, but it's very clear on what it will do, and really gets will get you excited for. Like, I uh, I know exactly what this is gonna do. Like, you know, I feel like there's like a an incredible clear path of what this one will become. I mean, that path will evolve over time. It's inevitable. And see, this is a good um, little tease to the future. But at the moment, uh, I don't know. Did I show anything to do with that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Memory's terrible. Uh, let's go with this. I don't know if I can't remember. So I'm going to need four of these. Uh, I need to put this here. One, oh, excuse me. One, two, and two. Boom. Condensed milk. Uh, this is actually going to get confusing with all those ones. Oh, whoops, there's a wall right over there. If for that one, I'll throw that back in there. Um, sugar. I need the recipe. I don't actually want to stuff it up. Yeah, this is going to be an undo button, so it's going to be easy for you guys. Like, oh my god, I am <laughs> not going to give everybody out there extra stress for their lives. <laughs> this is for me to handle at the moment. Um, so I need two honey and... One half stick of butter. So, uh, cut that. I really like how that one, I really like that idea of just cutting it like that. That's like so cool. I'm using the purple again. I don't, know, I don't think that ever got. Oh, boy. I, I put the um, butter on the top. <laughs> But I do like that. I guess I get to cut it again. It's pretty satisfying. I do want to like provide two cuttings, but uh, there we go. And then there we go. We got caramel. And then eventually, you know, that's going to be piled on with the biscuit and all that. So that's something to excited to keep for next time. And then I have to put chocolate on that, and then we have caramel slice. Yeah. 
Also, oh yeah, I should have showed you guys seeing as that's in there. Um, I need the mixing bowl with me now. Uh, oh, I better not take five years of this one. I need two flour, one sugar. I don't know which type of flour will be, but it'll be one or the other, why not? There we go, I've got to cook it first. And also, while I was on the job, did this. And look at this, cut. Um, it's going to be more than one, but I thought that would be a good out, like, you know, a good look, little output also to have as well. Since the brisket's base is actually not that bad to have. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.